everyone, it's Sunday. Jody Adams here and I just wanted to uh, pick another oil to go over it and share with you. So um, I'll give everyone a moment to pop on. I actually wanted to invite some people. Um, so. So tell me what's going on this evening. Are you getting into anything interesting? It's starting to get cold here, so kind of hibernating a little bit. Still, you know, hanging out with friends, but just hibernating a little bit because it's so cold. So tonight I want to go over green mandrum. It's one of our new oils. So I want to show you, and I'm actually drinking some of it with some water. And I always use glass, and this is a stainless steel straw, so it allows me to stir up the oil so that it, you know, kind of mixes because essential oils don't mix, mix with water. So I always like to stir it up. So let me show you the bottle of green mandrum. I haven't mastered the, how to actually <laughs> get that on there. There you go, there's the bottle of green mandrum. So a little bit about green mandrum. No. It's a really interesting oil. Um, this is the first oil that doesn't have the photosynthesis. So what that means is, you know, during the summertime, you can actually apply this oil to your wrist, to the back of your neck, and not worry about going out into the sun. So all the other citruses, if you put them on your skin, you will get burnt if you go out into the sun. So you want to stay away from tanning beds, um, you know, going into hot yoga and then going to a tan bed. You absolutely do not want to do that with any citruses. But I'm really excited about green mandrum because we're going to be able to apply this and not worry about whether it's going to burn us. So, and the reason why is because how they actually get the green mandrum is during the growing cycle, um, the farmers, and, and it's actually sourced from Brazil, but 60, or 60 to 70 percent, they actually did a thinning process. So they would pick the unripened fruit and let, and let it like go onto the ground. Um, so there was really no benefit for that um, unripened fruit. And until they realize the benefit of actually using it as an essential oil. So instead of letting it go to compost and be helpful to the ground, you know, it was way too tart to actually consume and eat. So it was never used. But because of its unique chemical constituents, we're now able to use this as an essential oil. So, and not only that, um, the farmers actually use the green mandrum as, you know, the pro to actually pay for all what it entails to actually produce all their expenses for the rest of the year. So when they go and produce the red mandrum, it's mostly for profit. So that's pretty cool. You know, before they would have to just you know, disposed of this wonderful fruit because it was too tart and they didn't have any benefits until they discovered, you know, all the benefits of um, the, you know, actually compressing it and distilling it and actually bottling it for us so we could actually get all the benefits. So let's talk a little bit about the chemical constituents. So two of the main chemical constituents is limonene and also um, gamma terpene. So because it has the gamma terpene in it, that is one of the main chemical constituents of metalluca and tea tree oil. So that makes this oil a very, and it's because they're picking it when it's not ripe. So that makes this oil very interesting. So because of that, and you've got some really good similarities to tea tree oil and metalluca. So great for the, the, the you're going to, you know, experience the benefits um, for your hair, for your skin that you would experience with Metalluca. So absolutely incredible. So um, let's talk about the, um, the aroma. It has a citrus, fruity, slightly sweet floral 
health now. Um, so if you've had a long, stressful day, um, this is going to be excellent to put in your diffuser when you get home. And just, I mean, it just is, you know, it's a citrus, so it's just so um, uplifting. So because it has the limonene in it, it's going to be highly cleansing to the body and also surfaces. So um, a great way you can make like a homemade cleaner, get you a glass spray bottle um, with some distilled water or some witch hazelnut. Um, and then depending on how big your bottle is, um, put about 10 to 20 drops um, and you can actually spray your surfaces. Absolutely incredible. So um, let's talk a little bit about, since it is clean, cleansing and we're talking about cleansing. Hey, Becky, I'm glad you caught me live. Hope you're having a great evening. So because it's so cleansing to the human body, it's also going to cleanse the liver and the kidneys. So just like a little recipe as far as that. Um, so you're going to take one to two drops of the green mandarin and one to two drops of the lemon and then also one to two drops of the juniper berry and you can either put it in a capsule or some water and so you're going to get that cleansing benefit. So if you're going to go get a massage, um, these oils are also wonderful to take to your massage therapist if they don't already do essential oils. Um, and then they can do the massage with these oils to be really cleansing to the body. So since we're talking about massage, um, let's talk a little bit about this oil is really going to be supportive for circulation to soothe um, water retention, um, to also help with achy limbs, um, achy muscles, achy joints, um, great for any type of scar tissue. So a great combination also for that um, is to take the juniper berry and the cypress and the green mandarin and, and some fractionated coconut oil, some lotion, and actually massage into the muscle tissue on any area of concern, so problematic areas. Um, um, I need to say compliance. So very problematic areas of um, concern of you, problems that you're having problems with, um, like scar tissue and adhesions as well. So, and also it's great for your digestive system. So um, if you're having spasms um, in your digestive system, you can take a couple drops of the green mandarin and just massage it into your belly with some fractionated coconut oil. Just, you know, don't overthink it. Just literally take one to two drops um, and with some fractionated coconut oil and rub it into your belly, um, into the abdominal region. You know, you can, like, I, like I'm drinking it with water. I, I don't know if you all got me right at first, but I'm drinking it with water. So um, great to get in your digestive system that way. So um, let's go into a little bit more detail. You know, the um, winter season's coming up. There's probably a lot of people fighting different bugs um, that are out there. And if you've just not, if you've kind of felt yucky and not very good, you know, the green mandarin is also going to be good for your respiratory system. So we'll make this kind of fun. So if you have yucky green <laughs> stuff in your lungs, it equals green mandarin. So just like a little catch to, because the oils, you know, they do so many amazing things and it's hard to remember for a lot of people when they get started to remember, you know, what the different oils are good for. So just kind of remember that fun phrase, yucky green stuff equals green mandarin. So uh, I always like to have fun. So, uh, so let's go on. So to help support imbalances in your blood sugar and also metabolism, the green mandarin is also going to be great for that. So let me give you a little recipe for that as well. I, I like little recipes so that you all know where to go to. So take one to two drops of green mandarin, one drop of cinnamon, or you can add an extra one, um, and one to two drops of lemongrass in a capsule, or you can rub it on the bottom of your feet. Um, I like to do it internally just because I personally find better results. But when we're talking about internal use, you want to make sure um, that your oil is pure and that your oils have been tested, um, third party tested and all kinds of different tests are run on so, so you really trust. For me, I only trust doTERRA essential oils. Um, it's the only ones that I've actually been able to use without any problems. 
So internal use, let's talk about um, the nervous system. So the green mandarin is actually going to be excellent for the nervous system. So if you're struggling um, with anything personally and you just really want to affect um, anxiety, um, anything that comes along with that, the um, green mandarin is going to be excellent for you to diffuse. So just put a couple drops in your diffuser. I mean, it literally only takes a couple drops. So just put a couple of drops in your diffuser and, you know, go on about, you know, come home, cook. And speaking of cooking, you know, anything with like lemon peel or anything that you need to add citrus to, you can also use the green mandarin. It's actually going to be incredible. So it's also going to be a great antioxidant support. So again, in the water, the bottom of the feet, you can get a diffuser necklace, diffuser bracelet, which I have one on from convention. Still haven't mastered this um, <laughs> this camera on here. Eh, there we go. Eh, we'll just turn this around. <laughs> I'll master it. Um, so it's, it's going to be great for that. So let's, since we're talking about anxiety and anxiousness, let's dig into emotions a little bit. So, um, so what is this oil going to uh, support emotionally? So if you're diffusing it, if you're rubbing it on. So I want you to think about promoting courage, um, promoting strength. Like if you have something going on, you know, you always want to look at the emotional side. So if you have something going on and you need some inner strength, the green mandarin is going to be excellent. So some negative things that are going on in your life, anger. Um, have you been in a situation that, you know, you, you're just holding on to some anger, some grief, um, some shock because something just happened in your life? The green mandarin is actually going to be excellent um, for you to diffuse. Um, again, you can smell it throughout the day. You can put it in, like, you can get, like, little tiny bottles and literally you can carry it around in your pocket. Absolutely incredible. So um, let's talk about another little homemade something. Um, because of its skin benefits, you know, because it has the gamma, gamma terpene in it, um, it's a great skin toner. So get you a glass spray bottle and literally put some um, distilled water or some witch hazel and put some green mandarin in it. So it's, it's going to be a great homemade skin toner. You know, very expensive, you know, just simple, um, a couple drops and you're good to go. So that's going to be an incredible way. So let me see what else I would like to discuss with you. Um, so I hope you're all having a great evening. Anyone want to tell me what they're up to for this evening? Hmm? Do I have any takers? Huh? Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about um, another really cool thing you can do. You can put a drop on your toothbrush, and so it's really good for your gums. So we can always stand to, you know, allow our gum tissue to be as healthy as possible. So also taken internally helps support your immune system immune function, immune response, um, helps support cellular function. So absolutely incredible. And also cardiovascular. So going out for a walk, going out for a run, um, literally get your water bottle and it needs to be stainless steel or glass and literally put a couple drops in it. So um, it tastes really fruity and citrusy. So it's very uplifting. Um, and just give you that energy boost um, for your run or uh, afternoon walk, after dinner walk, you know, kind of burn all those calories if you had some sweets. Um, you, you want to get some cardiovascular in. So really great to support cardiovascular. Um, so let me see if anyone has any questions. Okay, awesome, Kay. So green mandarin, neroli, tangerine, and balance. Um, in her diffuser for um, anxiety. So that is amazing. So anyone want to try that uh, diffuser recipe, uh, knock yourself out. And if you don't have any oils, we'll help you with that. So any other questions? I'm glad everyone joined me this evening. 
you know, get your oils out if you don't have any oils. And again, you know, I highly recommend don't go to the grocery store and buy something you don't know what you're buying. It's very important to get the purity, the potency. Um, and if you're ready to get started in essential oils just for yourself, just for your family, please contact me and I'll get you started. Um, I'll mentor you on your journey with essential oils. I'll guide you on what oil to use when, where. And again, I'm always going live. So literally, if you have questions, you know, hit me up here. Um, if you want to share oils with your friends and family, I'll help you get started with that. If you want a business opportunity to build, you know, a business, if you're at home and you just want some extra money, I'll get you started on that as well. So um, we have an amazing doTERRA family. We see this more as a family. We just like to have fun. So um, until next time, you know, shoot me a message and tell me what oil or what product you'd like to hear about. Um, and I will share that with you. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening and tell me, you know, if you're on here, tell me um, where you're from. And are you local? Are you here in West Virginia? Um, are you in Florida? Are you in Albuquerque? Um, where, uh, California, wherever it is, just shoot me a little message and tell me where you're from and what some of your favorite things to do. I always like to get feedback. So some of your hobbies. And um, until next time, I will talk to you next week. So bye. Hope you have a great evening.